Hey, you guys, I got a message for you. Let's get into it. I got a song before I started. The name of the song is Understand by Keshi <clears throat> or Kishi, however you pronounce that. But somebody thinks that or they feel like you are the only person who understands them. Maybe we could try if you let me. Oh, no, not a night of wands. <laughs> Knight of Wands is not always bad. I'm just playing. Okay. It can be, though, depending on the other cards. But, well, I ain't going to say bad. But, you know, not somebody that you... You just got to be careful with the Knight of Wands. Okay. Never thought that I'd find the, that the one in my life would be so near. And now you're here. I got you. You got me. Okay. So, when it's us, babe, you make me feel complete. All right. So, this could be... Um, future energy for y'all and as far as that you make me feel complete thing you don't need nobody else to make you feel complete but anyway that's what the song's saying so i'm gonna tell y'all about it we got the lovers here <clears throat> the first card out gemini energy with the star at the bottom of the deck aquarius so as far as the whole and i just seen 111 on the timer as far as you make me feel complete yes this person feels like you are their other half. Wow. I saw that too. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, that's nice. All right. It, this person could be either... There's a lot with music here I get with this card. The Six of Cups, um, Scorpio Energy. I get a lot of... Um, whenever I see that card, I think about, you know, listen to your intuition, listen to... Or maybe you've got, um, maybe you have the spiritual gift that I can't think of the name of it. The one where you hear, Claire, I forget, you know, the Claire where you hear. Okay, two of wands. Oh my goodness. You see the two deer back there. Those look like, that looks like two stags. So you could have a choice between two people. Or this person feels like you are their equal or something like that. You both are leaders you know or yeah that's what i'm getting this person feels like y'all are a match okay we got the king of cups at the bottom of the deck cancer pisces scorpio energy with the ace of swords they feel like you're the truth gemini libra aquarius the five of swords <clears throat> <laughs> what i'm getting with this look <clears throat> Okay, so on this one, we got the man and the two deer. It's like, and then here with this five of swords, there's two people back here who gave up. And I feel like this person may feel like there's one or two other people that they're going to have to fight for you or something like that. Okay. Now, one of them back here has got a flag. Was that a red flag? Uh, or is it like the the white flag that people put up to um say, I'm done. I'm, I'm not fighting anymore. This person don't want to fight their feelings anymore. Two of swords. But it's like they do... They do feel like there's someone else they're going to have to beat out. Some competition they're going to have to beat out. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. All right. The two of swords and the five of swords. Yeah, this person is thinking a lot with all this swords energy here. They're thinking a lot about how you are there wish fulfillment with the nine of cups like i said they want to knock out all the competition it looks like <laughs> and we got the king of swords at the bottom of the deck gemini libra aquarius again you do have a lot of options i feel like okay of course you do the empress all right taurus libra energy <laughs> wow this is nice I like readings like this. Okay, we got the Four of Pentacles. This person is not planning on letting go of you anytime soon. You may have long hair, or you know, you may uh you may have long hair, regardless if it's real, fade, whatever the case, you may have long hair that you know people think are pretty is pretty. We got the eight of wands with the ten of pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> You see this turtle down here? It's like this person was moving slow. Or maybe they are moving slow. 
Did I see a rabbit somewhere? No. Okay, so this person may be a little shy or maybe you're a little shy because I see that mouse there and it's like timid as a mouse is what I was getting. Um, but with that eight of wands, it looks like they're, yeah, we got the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which is a slow energy. The sun, they're slowly moving towards the sun, you know, which is you, the Nine of Cups, okay? Leo energy. I just saw a card that makes me feel like, are you being protected from this person or you're just protecting yourself? The Seven of Swords. Um, hmm, we got Death at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy. The Seven of Pentacles. You may be seeing Seven, Seven, Seven. Four of Swords. Okay. We got the Star again with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like more protection energy here. Maybe this person feels like... <laughs> With this Seven of Swords, now the Seven of Swords can mean a lot of things. Sometimes it can mean uh, deceit, and sometimes it can mean strategizing. And I feel like this person is wanting to, oh, wow. See, look at this. They want to, they want to melt this. It's like you've been protecting yourself, maybe for a good reason. I don't know. This is a general reading, but 84 or 48 can be significant, 25, 52. 97 okay so i'm just telling y'all the numbers i got all right so you see all this fire what i was gonna say they're wanting to melt all this this ice you have around you maybe you've gotten cold because you know something that happened in the past because we do have uh the seven of swords here something made you feel like you had to protect yourself and this person wants to you know what i just said did i see a rabbit here we go rabbit things are about to start speeding up i say things are about to start speeding up and then the dang hangman comes out okay wow the hangman okay this person feels they're being blocked by something here with the seven of wands or maybe you block them Okay, but, um, wait, well, let me take that back. Okay, the seven of wands, in this case, I feel like this was an epiphany. This person wants to fight for this connection, all right? So, and when I say fight for the connection, I don't mean literally fight, okay? So, I've got one video, uh, it's a short, that talks about somebody wants to fight over this connection or something, and I've had so many people comment, I don't fight, and I'm like, I don't mean literally. Did I say that? I don't know. All right, so King and Queen of Pentacles here. They feel like you are a match with this King and Queen of Pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn energy. You don't have to be any of those signs, but this is a stable connection here. It's a match, like I was saying before with these other cards back here. But what is this hangman thing about? Like... This is almost like they want to catch you, like, oh, <laughs> they want to catch you in their net. Oh, that's a little creepy. All right, let's see. What is going on here with this hanged man? I felt like that one wanted to come out. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the one I was talking about a minute ago where I felt like you were being protected or protecting yourself with this bubble of protection here. And it's like... This person wants to take this sword and burst that bubble because it's like they feel like they can't get to you or something like that. The devil. Maybe they feel like someone else is controlling you here with this devil. Um, And I'm also getting that there's fear. Was there something about fear in that song? Give me a second, you guys. I'm sorry. Yes, I admit that I'm scared because I've never really cared as much as this. It's worth the risk. Okay. You're the only one who understands. Somebody feels like you're the only one who understands them. All right, what? So here we go. This could be someone from the past here um, with the Six of Cups coming through. But they do want some kind of 
new beginning with you here. <clears throat> okay, with the Six of Cups, I do want to say that you do have more than one person in your energy. So the person that this reading is about is not necessarily the past person. This could be someone who's newly come into your life. Okay, but then you still have a past person that's in your energy too. So keep that in mind. What else? The Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a lot of... Um, water energy here and uh swords so this person is really in their thoughts a lot about you know you and this connection we got strength at the bottom of the deck leo energy wait a minute this is so much like this person feels like they want to save you from something you see that like this what is going on Whenever I see these cards together, that's that's the thought I get in my head. Like, this person wants to. Mm. Or maybe they want you to save them. Oh, Lord. I'm thinking of that uh, Drake song, that new Drake song. Um, <laughs> how's it go? Come and rescue me. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so we got the Eight of Pentacles here. You could work with this person or you could have worked with this person or went to school with them or something. The Eight of Pentacles is about um, work or school usually. Okay, so I'm getting a lot from the bottom of the deck here. I'm gonna show y'all. Six of Wands, this card's been coming up a lot lately. Somebody wants to... This person is a fiery person, so they don't have to be a fire sign here, but they have a lot of passion. Um, and they wanna light you up or something. I mean, they wanna melt this uh, protective icy covering you have around yourself. I'm seeing almost like the queen of swords energy. Mm, and for you to be in that energy, there's probably a reason. Okay, so you felt like you had to protect yourself, but they want things to move forward here. Um, more, more fire energy with the eight of wands. With these sheep down here, I feel like maybe they're dreaming about you. Okay, next we got the emperor and the king of cups. So, um, wait a second. Okay, so with the five of wands, so we got two competitors here the emperor and the king of cups all right i'm gonna switch days i hope you guys are having a great week so far and thank you to the people who have been sending in donations thank you so much i appreciate you guys okay oh i know which one i want And for um, my regular clients who get personal readings, I don't, I haven't been doing um, a lot of personals lately um, because I'm kind of busy with different things in my life and it is kind of draining. I do like doing them and I will continue to do them. So you guys, if you're wanting to get a personal reading, um, usually the the regular custom the regular clients who've been with me for a while they're gonna always come first so but i do take on new um new people like maybe every couple of weeks or so when i have time so if you've sent me a message or something i will see it and now if it's on email i might not see it because my email is i just it's stressful even looking at it okay so uh if you are trying to get a person with me um in my link tree, you can get my contact information. So Instagram is the quickest way to get in touch with me. Make sure you use the link in my bio though, you guys, because there's a lot of fake pages. Okay, so tell me more about this emperor and the king of cups, please. Also, I've been going live on Facebook if any of you guys are interested in that. I'm gonna go live here too, but wow. And all those
those links are um, always in the description box. Well, I try not to forget. Okay, so this emperor here. This emperor has has come to some kind of realization in his own mind. He feels like, well, for another thing, the Ace of Wands is about passion, okay? He's very uh, attracted to you. And like I said, he's strategizing something here. He's strategizing, um, and it's with this 10 of inspiration. It's like this came up the other day where I'm getting something different, so I'm not even gonna say what was coming up the other day. So it's like this this lady, she's got this vase, um, or some kind of pottery, and you see all that. It's like there's all this magical stardust or something coming out. We got a lot of Taurus energy here with these bulls. That's that's what I'm seeing. But um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, also, all the signs are coming out, but she's got this magic in there. Magical information or something. Okay, with the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords, I feel like this person has made a decision that they want to run after you you're this bird <laughs> okay they want to go into calmer waters with you um which makes me feel like you know i don't know what kind of you you could be stressed out right now so there's something they want to do to or maybe they're stressed out hmm. the situation is wanting to go into a calmer situation is what i'm seeing here wow we got Eagle spirit, freedom, number 13 could be significant. And then storm spirit, chaos. Okay. Um, you are the eagle, I feel like. That's what they see you as or look up the, something about eagle. Okay, or freedom or both, okay. Let me get a card from this deck for a little further information. And then, yeah, I'm going to just get some from here and I'll close it out. Um, but, yeah. Bluebird spirit, happiness. That's beautiful. Number seven could be significant. Courage. Aspen spirit, number three. You know what? I feel like this person needs to have a little bit more courage. Unless it's you that's afraid. Look. Eagle spirit, freedom. What zodiac does the eagle represent? Tell me in the comments if you guys know. Earth spirit, stability. <laughs> This, I'm getting this same, and number 13 could be significant, number 14, but I'm getting this same energy I got from this card the other day where you're really focused on your magic right here or something you got going on. She's really focused here. And then there's like this, this little love situation in the background, but and then she knows about it, but she's focused on something here, real focused. Okay focused on your magic <clears throat> as you should be moonlight enchantment magic okay you're focused on some this journey you're on number one number 25 could be significant you're focused on this journey you're on this journey of higher learning knowledge whatever i feel like you're getting a lot through meditation and i'm gonna keep saying it hear me sync meditation has helped me a lot it's hard for me to meditate with like ADD and things like that. Okay, so I just seen 1919. 19, so angel number 1010 10 could be significant. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. I love y'all. Let me know in the comments if it resonated and I'll be back later on. Hope you have a great week.